These are the shield playing cards by the Card Mafia. So first, let's take a look at this beautiful tuck case. Of course, on the front, you're going to have the shield. This is all an Athena deck done in black and metallic purple. You are going to have some embossing and debossing, but of course, most of it doesn't have to be embossed or debossed because you actually have a physical layering. This actually took 20 minutes to put this entire box together for each of the 3,500 decks. On the back, you have the same logo, but this time done in a metallic purple. And when you close, you have it done in white. One side says Shield Athena, and the other side says Playing Cards. The top says Shield, and the bottom has some ad copy. I'm going to have to up the brightness because actually on the inside here, you actually have the Shield logo again on each of the individual ones all the way through this entire inside tuck box. And on the insides of both of these, you'll have a magnet on both sides, which means that when it closes, it snaps. And the difference between that and the Luna Moon deck is it doesn't have the top system. And this deck when opened will automatically close. And this deck when opened will stay open. Now since this is a two deck set, you're also going to have a standard tuck box that comes with it. Basically done in the exact same way, but this time where it does open and it opens like a normal tuck box. The last thing I have about this tuck box is that right here you actually have a cutout where you can see to the inside of the box. And because of that, they have a blank side and a card that looks like this, which is why when you put that in on the front side, it makes the tuck box look just a little bit cooler. This is a beautiful two-way back design done on black cardstock with purple and white lining. The top and bottom both say shield, but it is separated to look like a shield. And the purple looks absolutely gorgeous when fanned. You have semi-duplicate jokers of Athena. All of your suits have been redone to look like shields, so your hearts are going to look like heart shields, and all of the colors have been redone into purple and white as well. And you have your club shields, all the way through to your diamond shields, and your spade shields. You have four beautiful aces, from your ace of hearts to your ace of clubs, Ace of Diamonds, and of course, Ace of Spades. One ad card says Athena, Wisdom of Truth. The other says Guardian of the Truth, Wisdom and Shield, one of the 12 Olympians, Supreme Goddess of Wisdom. And coming from a Percy Jackson fan, these court cards are my favorite part of this deck. You have a different Greek god or goddess on each court card. So you have the Jack of Spades, Dionysus, Hera for your Queen of Spades, Zeus as your King of Spades, Hephaestus for your Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds as Artemis, the King of Diamonds is Ares, the King of Clubs is Hades, the Queen of Clubs is Demeter, the Jack of Clubs is Hermes, the King of Hearts is Poseidon, the Queen of Hearts is Athena, and the Jack of Hearts is Apollo. Now obviously this deck looks gorgeous, but there's still a few things you want to know. Now first, can this deck pharaoh? Now from bottom to top, this deck pharaohs beautifully, as you can see, perfectly every other, making moves like this, glide. Now from top to bottom, which usually is where cards have a little bit more of a problem, and again, once again, every other. Now outside of that, this deck does handle well because it is printed through the USPCC at 3,500 decks, but how does the deck feel in your hands? Is it going to be stiff? Is it going to be buttery? Is it going to be snappy and crispy? Is it going to be thick or thin? Well, let me just tell it to you. So when it comes to the actual stock of this deck, this is going to be on a premium stock, which means it's going to be thicker, but it feels like a middle line stock. It feels like a classic stock when it comes to how it feels. A little bit snappy, but definitely a little bit more on the buttery side. Has a good bit of both. But for any person, beginner or ex expert, you will have no problem handling this deck in any way that you want to. If you're a cardist or a sleight of hand magician, for whatever reason that you'd be using this deck, this will have no problem when it comes to handling. But should you buy the deck? That is the question. Well, first off, let's talk about your price point. This deck is going to be at $75 at the places that I've been able to find. It was originally, I believe, $20 when I got it, uh, however many months ago. 
and it has been a, quite a while since I've got these two decks and a few other things. So let me show those to you right now. Of course, the first one is going to be the second deck in the two deck set. You do get a shield sticker, a certificate showing that you bought the deck from the Kickstarter, and a really cool shield keychain. Now, if you're a magician, definitely don't pick this deck up. The faces aren't meant for it. The back design isn't meant for it. This just isn't going to be a deck for you. If you're a cardist, I think that you can pick this deck up. I've seen a lot of cardistry done with this deck, especially by Rise Magic. So if you haven't seen their cardistry ASMR with this deck, and you are a fan of cardistry ASMR, you should definitely check that video out. The amount of cardistry ASMR that can be done with this and the tuck box is just unbelievable. If you're a collector, there's no doubt in my mind you should be picking this deck up. This is a deck all around Greek mythology, which is one of the reasons that I picked it up because I'm a massive Percy Jackson fan until that at least made that second movie, but I did like all of the books. I do love this purple, white, and black combo, although I'm not really a fan of the black cardstock. I wish they would have had an, at least a little bit of a different or a white border because that is going to mean that the corners are going to get dinged a lot faster. It does have a high price point though, which means a lot of collectors will like it. The box opens up, it's by the Card Mafia, there's a lot of reasons that you should be collecting this deck. Now quite honestly, you probably shouldn't be playing games with it, that's probably not going to be the best thing. Number one, I don't want my friends playing with this deck, because this deck is just going to be a little bit too nice for things that I want my friends to play with. And outside of that, truth be told, this just probably ends the deck with all the suits being so custom. And is this a hype deck? Heck no. But if you want to pick up this deck for yourself, I will find a place and leave a link in the description below for you to check that out if you want to, so that way you can find a place to pick up this deck for yourself. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you do like deck reviews and all things playing cards, sleight of hand cards, tree, and magic. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.